Hey guys, Jared here. In order to make room for the mezzanine that I'm building here, you know, where the garage door used to be, I'm going to have to move my air compressor and the piping. This is the condensation section. This is where the hot air goes through to condense all the moisture in the air so it's not running through the lines. And I've been, I've been fighting a little bit with where I want to put this, whether I want to put it clear over by the toolbox clear over in the lift bay if I want to try to elevate it if I want it over by where I'm going to be moving to paint booth or what but bouncing the idea off of some friends I think I'm going to end up putting it in the office in the back of the office I'm building a bathroom and I was originally going to put a small shower in there just like a 36 inch shower but I've been kind of talking myself out of it I just really don't think it's going to get used that often so instead of making the office wide and having that shower in there, I think I'm going to make the office narrower, just you know, basically a water closet, just toilet and then uh, shop sink. But then beside that, instead of having this, this weird little lost area in the corner, I'm going to put the air compressor back there. And then I will pipe it through the wall and run it back out here to the face. And I will then also insulate the box completely around the air compressor and try to make it not soundproof but you know reduce the sound quite a bit deaden the sound uh, and I'll be using rocks wool, rock wool for that as well since that is an excellent sound dampener and I will I know I'll get hit with comments and you know suggestions and all that but it's not going to be completely closed off I am going to make sure there's airflow uh, cut vents I may even rig up a fan and have it triggered by the pressure switch when the compressor turns on, maybe kick on another relay. That way the fan will blow and circulate and cool that little area down while the air compressor is running. But I'll get to that when the time comes. For now it's just going to sit in there and I'll, I'll build the room around it later. But I think that's going to be probably the best place for it. And it'll make things a little quieter on this side as well as use up some space that's going to be pretty awkward. So let me show you what's going to be entailed with this. There's going to be a few things I'm going to have to change around in order to make this happen. So all along the upper part of the wall is the piping for the air compressor. And currently it is angled down that way to allow any moisture in the line to go and hit some of the drops so it can be drained out. I'm going to move the compressor down to the other end. All that's going to have to be changed. Elevation will have to go the other way. But down to that far end is where it's going to end up. So right here is where the bathroom is going to be. Everything's stubbed out over there. And originally I said I was just going to wall this off and make this all a restroom with the shower back here, which is what I'm scratching. So now I will just frame this out and make that the bathroom and then this area here is where the compressor is going to sit. So I got plenty of room. It's nice and close to the electric box. It'll be able to breathe and like I said I will I'll insulate, insulate the walls, try to keep the noise down and that should end up working out really well. I'll just punch straight through the wall here in order to tie into the copper line on the other side of the wall and get my runs from there. So now I have the air compressor moved and I'm going to have to move my cooling rack and I've been trying to figure out how to make that happen and still utilize as much of it as I can. So I'm going to cut it up at the top where the output is and then cut off the input down here. And when I take it down to the other end, I'm gonna flip it around 180 degrees because now the output has to be going this direction instead of the other direction. And I'm gonna to have to redo the input anyways with the air compressor being in the office now in its new future room, I'm gonna to have to penetrate the wall and come out and tie into this. So I'm gonna to have to redo that anyways. So I'm gonna cut, and I could probably cut that later, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off now and then move it down there and then reset all of the elevation so it is draining in the right direction like it should be 
and start getting everything hooked back up so I can have air again. I have all the piping and hose hooked up, so let's crack open the valve and make sure we don't have any leaks. Nothing hissing in here. I pressure tested everything out in the shop before and let it sit overnight, didn't have any problems. So let's plug in the power cord and uh, turn it on. We might have to uh, bleed off a little bit of air. It still hasn't, uh, it's not low enough to kick on the pressure switch. I'll just crack this valve open a little bit. 